behold the red cabbage. Full of anthocyanin, it is a pH indicator which can be extracted through boiling. To begin the extraction of anthocyanin, put some H2O in a pot. Don't forget to turn on the stove! Take the cabbage and rip it into pieces, and put them in the pot until the water fully covers the cabbage. Take it, rip it. Take it, rip it. The smaller you rip it, the more relative surface area will have, and it will boil the anthocyanin out faster. Laugh as the mother cabbage watches the boiling of her young. As you can see, there were cabbages harmed in the making of this film, but no worries, they didn't feel a thing. This is the before and after product of the cabbage. As you can see, the cabbage on the left is full of life. The one on the right has sadly given up all of its anthocyanin to our cause. You know it's ready when the liquid is a purpley blue color and the screams have subsided. Filter out the pH indicator. The color may vary depending on your source of water. The solution will be more blue in basic environments and more red in acidic ones. Don't forget to turn off the stove or else your house will burn down. Vinegar is acidic, therefore the solution turns red when the indicator is poured in. To get an orange color, we used liquid drain cleaner, which is very basic. Bleach is very basic, so the indicator solution turns yellow. Greatly diluting the liquid drain cleaner will produce a green color when exposed to the indicator solution. The baking soda solution turns blue when the indicator is added. Since the indicator is already purple, adding it to neutral water does not change its color. Here is the final rainbow. Please don't look at the orange and yellow ones. Strong bases such as the bleach and drain cleaner destroy the pigments of the anthocyanin. Changing the pH environment will change the different R groups on the anthocyanin. This causes the anthocyanin to reflect different wavelengths of light, resulting in all the different colors you've seen.